Today, I want to talk about getting your hopes up for CES 2023. Let's talk about a couple of things I know a lot of people hope to see at CES 2023. And we'll talk about how likely that is for it to be there. Let's get straight into that. Why LG needs to have a good CES this year because QD OLED. And we have seen QD OLED already making waves. And I really think that'll continue next year because it's just going to get better with time. And I do think that you will see more manufacturers pushing QD OLED even more. So we've already heard rumors of Panasonic and Philips maybe getting into the QD OLED action. A lot of people are hopeful that maybe Sony will even take it further with QD OLED and have additional models with QD OLED based on how cheap QD OLED is to produce. With LG, I really think that people are hoping for MLA. Now, MLA is something that was rumored to be pushed back. I don't know if you will see it at CES because of these reasons. We heard about it probably being pushed back to 2024. Stop the FOMO made a really good video talking about that. And I'll link it in the description below that you can watch this video after this one. It is really a good video and I highly recommend checking it out. But that said, there still is a very little chance that it can be at CES and it can be in 2023 models. It would be a shock, but it's certainly possible and I'm not going to rule it out. Now, if this is the case, then what can we really expect from MLA technology? Hold up, time out for a second. Let's talk about what MLA actually is. And for that, I'm gonna point you guys to this Business Korea article talking about what it actually is. MLA stands for Micro Lens Array. It was also referred to as a meta lit lens array, but micro lens array seems to be the one that they are sticking with right now. So that's what I'm going to go with. The new display is characterized by a fine convex lens array layer inside of an OLED panel. It's a very thin lens material that is deposited on an OLED panel. So MLA technology uses these micro lenses to bend the trajectory of light to improve the brightness efficiency. They say that when MLA technology is applied, the OLED luminous efficiency jumps up by more than 20%. They also say that the viewing angle is better as well. Now this next thing is the thing that people are latching onto the most with MLA, and that is the claim that it can get up to 2000 nits with the MLA technology applied. So that is MLA. Let's get back to the video. It really has to be able to compete with QD OLED and ultimately, if it doesn't end up doing that, then it would be a failed experiment. Now, the rumors of MLA is talking about it could maybe get to 2000 nits of peak brightness from an OLED TV. I'll be really shocked if it did that, to be honest with you. I'm expecting more along the lines of something close to what QD OLED can do. I don't expect much more than that. But for me, it's really going to come down to whether or not they can compete in the color volume category because that is what separates QD OLED from the WRGB OLED is the color volume. So if MLA can unlock some of the color volume and help a WRGB OLED get to that degree, then we're talking about a competition here. We're talking about a very legit competition with LG and Samsung display. So these are two companies that kind of you know go back and forth. They don't like each other. They are rivals. But we got to pump our brakes a little bit because it is very unlikely to see this in 2023. Again, though, I would be surprised if it's there, but I'm not ruling anything out. Rumors like this happens all the time where it says something's going to be pushed back into the next year. And then all of a sudden, boom, it's at CES. So outside of MLA, what could LG do to really compete in the space? And that is the thing that I've been scratching my head on for a while because I don't know. I really don't know what they could do to compete with QD OLED, especially if we're talking about other companies adopting it and making it better. So it's only going to be better in the second year. What can LG do to their OLEDs to make it compete with QD OLED? Outside of MLA technology, I really don't know. So if you guys have any ideas or have any suggestions for LG, I'd love to hear about them in the comment section because Maybe I'm just not thinking outside the box enough about what they could do, but I don't see them competing with QD OLED. Now, I really hope I'm wrong, and I hope I am surprised by what LG brings to CES, but I'm going to definitely temper my expectations on that, and I'll be shocked if anything pops up other than 
kind of a little bit better than last year. So let me know what are you guys excited for with CES 2023 coming up. Remember, I'm covering it on this channel. So make sure you tune in for CES 2023. Subscribe to the channel. I'll have videos on pretty much everything that's going on with CES 2023. CES 2023 is a time where companies deliver all kinds of promises. But if you want to see if companies actually delivered on that promise in 2022, check out this video right here.